Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So, Rings of Power Season 2 finale has just released. It's 8.05am. I stayed up again all night. Uh, I haven't looked at the episode title or the episode length, so we're going to go have a look at it right now. I'm very nervous about this, guys. I'm so nervous. Like, you have no idea. I'm so scared. This could go anyway because there's characters we have in here that we don't obviously know before and know in the future and there's characters who don't have names yet um and there's a lot of things i don't know because i don't read the books um so I, anything at this point could happen i think something's gonna happen to king durin i don't think calabrimbor is gonna last very long um i think i'm hoping we get a, a, a reveal for the stranger um I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Sauron and Galadriel and all that kind of stuff because I, the, 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 the promotional images. Oof, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's have a look. Episodes. The episode is 1R13 and it's called Shadow and Flame. Oh. Oh. Okay, at least it's not called Doom to Die like last week because that was, that was a rough one. So we've got another long episode again today, which I'm very thankful for. Um... How they're going to fit everything in, I don't know, because there's so much we need to focus on. We need to focus on, like, Numenor, what's going on with them, like, with Isildur and uh, Elendil and Elrond. Durin will come, legends say he's still sitting there today. I, 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 I don't know. I don't want to, like, think too much into it and, like, theorize too much because I don't want to upset myself already. <laughs> but yeah, let's, I guess, let's get into it. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh god, I hope Deesa's okay. It's the ring! The yeah, you don't say! Mind and soul! No matter what you hear, do not follow me down that mind. Do it. Oh, I hope that's not a goodbye kiss. Elrond didn't get a goodbye kiss either. <laughs> Take off the ring! You don't know the hell you're about to unleash, literally. You're strong enough to wield an axe. Be strong again, father. Take it off. I beg you. I think he's too far gone. A dwarf. You should never beg. Oh, you're so annoying. I mean, it is going to be surreal no. to see how much Mithril is down here. But... The dynasty of Durin. Just you wait for the ban of Durin. I mean, that is incredible. That is really incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god oh, oh. oh he's so cool Durin please oh my fucking god oh fuck Dude, Durin, Prince Durin, get the fuck out of there. Run. Go warn everybody. Your dad's a goner. I'm sorry. Forgive me, my son. King Durin. All 
All right, that's pretty fucking iconic. Oh my god. Holy fuck, he just yeeted himself in there. What? <laughs> what a fucking opener. What a fucking opener. That was insane. I'm tearing up a little bit. Oh my god. I'm glad that Disa and... Uh, I forget the other guy's name. Oh, fuck. I'm glad that they were there to see that, though. Otherwise, they'd be like, what the fuck are you on about? Like, at least he's got witnesses that that just fucking happened. So, did he go towards the staff or did he go towards the village? I can't fucking see shit. Oh, he is in the village. Holy shit. Uh, I feel like that was his probably his test was whether he'll go for the staff for his own sake or whether he'll tortoise oh my god I love him or whether he'll go for you know his friends Manway promised you would come oh and you old friend did not old friend you know me know you we are as kin five of us there were you journeyed to Hroon, seeking answers, old friend. Follow me, and you shall have them. Liar. Your past, your name, even your staff. I don't trust him. I did not make the journey alone. <laughs> Poppy, Nori. I instructed they were not to be harmed. What's happening? I tried to find you. My dear friends. I would sooner walk this desert forevermore, nameless and forgotten. Then you give me little choice, old friend. Oh no. Oh. Yes, King! Let's go! Run! We have learned why Miriel was able to bewitch the sea, an ally who was already bruised Numenor once, and is now gathering strength to oh, make Oh, shut it. up, you bellend. Sauron. So All so-called faithful are now declared Traitors of Westerness. Bro. I'm willing to bet he becomes a servant of Sauron. He's going to become the Witch King or just any of the Nazgul. See, you've caused a lot of this, lady. You're not innocent here. We must leave for the West. There are faithful there. My son Anarian amongst them. I know a ferryman who can get us outside the city. You're going with him. And yours? No. I need eyes to meet in the dark. What cowardice have I ever shown to make you think I would even consider making safe my own skin at the peril of yours? My place is here. You know it is. Place is by Where his is side. You? If not with you. It is called Narsi. <gasps> oh my god Oh
Oh, I just want those two to be happy together, though. But I, oh my god, this is an emotional roller coaster. That was cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, fucking hell. I'm the one your Lord Father wants. Set them free, and I will go willingly. Give me one reason, Elf. <laughs> I will give you nine. Oh, God. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? When Gondolin fell, they say it went on and on. God, I hope Last Galadriel nearly noon tide. doesn't have to see him like this. I'm used to hear the kingfishers. Blind to the river. It is a pity. Are you silent? God, I hear his puppy dog eyes. Please. Let me. But the rings are beyond your reach. Well, soon I shall go to the shores of the morning. Born hence by a wind that you can never follow. Heartbreaking. I didn't know his fit. I had no idea. There are ways of keeping you Melon. Don't say that word! Must I show you my mastery of that craft as well? Your only craft is treachery. So pure it shall betray the very hand that forges it. Oh my god. Shadow of Morgoth! Hear the dying words of Celebrimbor. The rings of power shall destroy you. And in the end, I foresee, one alone shall prove your utter ruin! You're wrong. I am the creator. I am the master. I feel sick. No. You are the prisoner. Lord of the Rings. Please don't let Gladriel see him. Please, please don't let Gladriel see him. Are you Sauron? How do you live with it? Had a good healer stitch me up. The guilt. I meant about your mom. Start helping them unload. Sure you won't come with me? <laughs> like it better being a low man. I'll give him a hug. That is your little bro now. You're so sweet. Change your mind. To replace the one Steel let me. But when he said it, I felt ill. Isildur, no! Don't.
I don't like her, but I want him to be happy. Come with me to Numenor. No men of Falar gear. Salutations. I'm Theo, son of Bronwyn. Bring the surveyor's equipment. Perhaps you didn't hear. We'll build the watchtower in sight of the river, fell a few houses if we need to. It's a disgrace the state this place is in. Is that coming? Oh, he's gonna tell him about Valandir. He's gonna tell him his dad it's killed him. I oh, never gave up hope. Even when everyone said there were no survivors left. There wouldn't be. If not for Beric. <laughs> Trust there's room on the ship. Plenty. My father is now king, and yours is wanted for treason. It might have been worse. If I'd had it my way, the old fool would be dead. I saved your life. You missed. Shall I have them slaughter the horse? These people do look hungry. You lay a finger on that horse. Disrespect me again. And you really will be lost in Middle Earth. Hear this now. She elf, turn yourself in. Leave us. I will help you destroy him. How do you expect to destroy Sauron without your ring? Dude, is he gonna is he wearing it? Has he turned back into like a pure elf? It would seem. Even wounds that have endured. Oh my god! Can sometimes yet be healed. Oh my god! Sir! When last I looked like this, I was known by another name. Adar is the name I earned. Oh my god! Help me earn it back. Help me vanquish Sauron. And I swear to you. Oh, he's turning back. I will recall my children to Mordor. I have slain more of your children than any elf alive. Lien, Absenin. No more flames. No more darkness. Let this ring heal the rift between elf and orc. Character development. Now and forever. Oh, is this gonna be a message from Sauron? Dude, that was so fucking cool, though. Oh my god. What happened? We found Sauron, Lord Father. He tried to make Luke betray you, but he resisted. Whoa. So Sauron did this. The others are pursuing him now. It's too late. Slug! No, oh, please, Adar, no! Oh! Galadriel. Exactly what happened to him. He got his payback, I guess. Lord Sauron. It is even more beautiful than Calabrian Bot led me to believe. Give it to me. No! 
Give me your ring and the nine. Yeah, because she's going to do that. To harm you. Do you wish to heal me? God, oh my god. Why is he so hot? Ugh. Gilgalad! I mean, nothing's gonna happen to him, but oh, oh, don't, no, don't show them. Don't show them. Oh, I thought they were gonna show him Calabrimbor. No, no, no! That is the full record of Calabrimbor's works. The wisdom of all who ever dwelt in this place. You think he gives a shit? Its value is beyond jewels or even blood. <gasps> He's still alive. This is child's play for him. Surely you, of all elves, must understand that to find the light, we must first touch the darkness. <laughs> We are not alike. We never were. It was just another of your illusions. Not so all of it. What do you mean, not all of it? Okay, bye. I fucking knew it! He had that one moment. I've always said he had that one moment where he felt he could be different. I've always felt that way. Fuck. Oh, spooky! They could no longer distinguish me from the evil I was fighting. <laughs> They're not the seeds you planted. What's he gonna be this time? Please just let him be Black Sludge. <laughs> oh my god. So the, the Halbrand that she saw in her vision, that was what it was from. The door is still open. The door is shut. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> ow, 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 fuck. To worship the light of its queen. <laughs> Oh, that face is so evil. It's okay, because she's got the ring on. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. You couldn't have hidden him further down somewhere. Oh my god! Durin! Well, maybe Durin. The prince is oh. in mourning. Okay, well, at least he sent his men. Oh my god, is she gonna jump? Galadriel. Come on, hold on just a little bit longer. You wish to heal, Middle Earth. Heal yourself. Oh. 
Oh my god. What a thing to witness, holy shit. The dwarves are securing the elves' retreat. If we pursue many orders... <laughs> Can we get F's in chat for Glug? Oh, they went to get her! With her ring and with his ring, she can be healed. These are not merely wounds of the body. Very immortal spirit is being drawn into the shadow realm. Are you gonna put it on? Is he gonna put it on and help? <laughs> oh, Elrond. They're losing her. Elrond. The darkness is too powerful. I cannot save her. I can. Come on, Elrond. <laughs> oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> And sometimes the winds blowing against us are just too strong. What are they gonna do with her, though? And does that mean Ellen Deal is gonna be gone by the time Isildur gets there? Fuck, I, I wanted them to reunite. And won't fix. Also, that horse has a sick ass fringe. <sighs> and all anybody can do. Put that thing down. You're not deserving to hold that. New. Thank you kindly, Grand Elf. Hmm. Goodbye, Grand Elf. Grand Elf. Oh my god. <laughs> They've never seen an elf before. They did. Never even left home before. I tried to help him pack, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I haven't the foggiest wasps to bring. We are very different creatures, Nori. Not so different at all, if you ask me. I want them to split up. <laughs> Please hug him. <laughs> no? Okay. It was right there all along. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hedgehog! Bombadil! I didn't expect to see him again, actually. It was all a test, wasn't it? I was meant to choose friendship over power. A wizard does not find his staff. It finds him. Oh, I'm so happy. Like his name. <laughs> I expected Miss Randir. That's what they're going to call me, isn't it? Now let the song begin. <laughs> let us sing together. Merry dawn, fairy dawn, ring a ding, dillo. Elves 
from the heather. Oh, Tom Bombadil is a merry fellow. Bright blue his jacket was, and his boots are yellow. Oh. Yeah, who the fuck are you, bitch? Your plan failed. How do you feel? Suspicious. Eregion has fallen. The survivors have fled to a valley north of here. But Elrond? He led them. Dispatch word. Tell him Khazad Doom stands ready to offer aid once more. We have troubles of our own, my love. Rumors fly that you are not your father's prepared heir. And uh, your brother seems to be gathering support. Who's his brother? Have we seen anything of a brother? Is he? I've never known you to be such peaceable company. <laughs> I believe I was. Well, that's very peaceful. What is this place? Oh, I'm so glad all of them are together. <laughs> Oh, I love their bond too. Oh. We must decide whether to attack and bring the fight to him or to fall back to prepare our defenses. I would remember the counsel of our dear friend, Philip Limbo. Greatest of Elven Smiths, but it is not strength. Dude, what if they go to like Rivendell? But life. And the sun yet shines. I love this music. Oh my god. So badass. Oh, that is shot is so beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh man, that was fucking insane. I there was so much to like touch on after that. I don't even know where to start. Hella Brimbor, I'm so sad. I, I didn't know his fate. I had, I mean, I kind of assumed from the state he was in last week, but I didn't know how brutal his death was going to be. Is that how he dies in like the books? Is that like a, is that like a thing? Because God, that was fucking brutal. I am glad that he really hurt Sauron with his words though. Like the end of that was just like, you know, you're the Lord of the Rings, you know, I see one ring that will destroy you, and I'm just like, damn, okay, Celebrimbor, okay, Slay King. I'm so glad that he went out while he wasn't in, like, a dream state. Like, I'm glad that he had his head back as his own, and he was able to confront what Zaron had done, and it was just, it's just really emotional, and knowing that he's not going to be in it anymore makes me so sad, because Charles... I've said it before, but he deserves so many, like, he deserves so much. Like, his performance was one of the greatest I've ever seen in anything. Like, his acting 
is just it's next level man like everyone that they've cast in this has been incredible but charles has just been like i feel like he's been a step above everybody his talent is immeasurable like it's un unbelievable so so good but it's i am very glad that the others didn't see him i thought they were gonna like carry his body out and show it to gilglad and elrond and arendir but i'm really glad that they didn't i'm glad that they kind of just had peace with the fact that he was gone but didn't see how or what had been done another death that really got me i think i'd already cried my so i didn't i i'd already cried my tears for Celebrimbor in the previous episode but this time the one that got me was adar like i've i've been like we've been talking about it in my discord and stuff and i've said that i you know my my sort of theory with him was that he was going to put on the ring because it's like what is he going to do with it my theory was like what if he puts on the ring and he becomes pure again and when he turned around oh my god i it was such a surreal thing i didn't actually like again it was a theory but i was like nah that's not gonna happen like surely i'm like my hopes are too high and they did it they fucking did it and then as soon as he took it off again is you know he went back to the way he has been and i'm kind of glad that he got that bit of would we say redemption i feel like it was definitely a kind of redemption in a way um but also he did get what he deserved for what he did to sauron i mean he was right to do it to sauron he was completely right but also the fact that the fact that like it was in front of galadriel as well so in season one you know we see like i've just rewatched it and all this stuff is like flooded back to me so we saw Halbrand almost tried to kill uh adar and he was like do you remember me and he's like no who are you you know he's like you don't remember what you've done to me and all this kind of stuff and then Gladriel asks him like what has he done to you and now she knows because he has just witnessed sauron do the exact same thing back to him which is really heartbreaking and the fact that glug was in on this and now glug is dead i felt like dude glug's what about glug's family are they okay are they safe are they secret are they are they okay? <laughs> oh, my watch has just told me I'm active again. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> um, uh, and then leading on from that, we have obviously our Galadriel and Sauron fight, which was incredible because they're both extremely skilled. Like Galadriel is probably, is she like the most skilled elf? I don't know if she is the most, but she is definitely up there. Um... And also, it doesn't help that in season one as well, Halbrand watched her fight and learned her secrets. Which, I don't know if that helped him in fighting against her, but I feel like it definitely had its play. Like, back when she was teaching the Numenorians, um, and showing off her moves, like, he was standing there in awe. Um, but the thing, so the thing about this is, so this is another thing that I've been talking about. So during my rewatch, I noticed that the scene, I can't remember which episode, the scene where Galadriel and Halbrand sat on the like on the tree log and they have that little moment between each other where he's like you know I I felt this and she was like oh I felt the two like fighting by your side I genuinely believe like this is just a head cannon this is just me and this is just my head cannon for Halbrand specifically because Halbrand obviously as a character is not in the books Sauron has many names he can go by many different forms and I think I think during this part of his journey, after he was like reborn as Sludge and, you know, came back as Halbrand, I genuinely believe that he meant those words when he was talking to her. And the, the way he said this as well, he was just like, oh, not all of it was planned. You know, not all of it. You know, I did feel whatever, whatever it was he said about fighting by your side back then. And then he turned into Halbrand. Like that is honestly, I feel like that is like a confirmation for me, for myself at least, that... What I felt was true, that on that log, I felt like there was freedom inside of him and I feel like he could have changed. I think deep down, there was still too much darkness, but I do think that there was a moment, a very fleeting moment while he was, you know, king of the Southlands and he was fighting alongside Galadriel and all this kind of stuff. I really, really do believe that there was a slight part of him that really wanted to change. I mean, he's tried to repent in the past. It didn't really work out for him. But I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me holding on to things. But I really believed that he probably 
I feel like, I mean, I, I know he couldn't have changed, but I feel like there was a part of him that I believed could have, even though he didn't. But I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. And I know a couple of other people have sort of said the same thing. And like, you know, some people are saying no, some people are saying yes, maybe there was part of him. Also, I'm sorry, I've just realized I've still got like tears down me. Um, I don't know, but just the way he turned into Halbrand and said not all of it was fake, you know, not all of it was false. Like, I just... I don't know. It it confirms it for my head canon at least. Um, but that was insane. The way he just like switched between everyone so quickly. I like the way they did it though. I like that they didn't show him like do some shape shift and stuff. Like he just went behind like a wall and then came back and oh suddenly he's Halbrand. Oh suddenly he's Galadriel. Suddenly he's Celebrimbor, which was really crazy to see. Um, I didn't know how easy or how quick it was for him to change form. I know obviously we saw him coming out of the fire, but I don't know. I don't know the process behind his shape shifting and how easy it is. And I guess he's maybe already had to be in someone's head to take their form, maybe, potentially. I'm I'm not sure. I don't know how it works. But um, I thought the entire sequence with them was really cool. The music was incredible. Bear, once again, nailed it. Her jumping off the side was so poetic. And seeing, like, I'm... Uh, I, I just, I feel like that would have been so heartbreaking for the elves to witness just watching her fall and knowing it was her but i'm so glad so obviously i know that elrond wears a ring in the future but for him to see galadriel like that and realize that this is a situation of life or death and he took it he was like no i'm not letting my best friend die like that that their relationship i feel like their bond is unbreakable and you know i i, I adore and i could only ever wish for everyone to have that kind of relationship in their life because it is so special. Um, but just seeing him put on that ring, and then obviously when they, you know, they they heal her and they're back with her, and then him putting the ring on her again to be like, I accept you putting this ring on. I accept you using this trinket that I was against for so long. This trinket that avoided we could have avoided danger with. You know, we, you know, you saw these visions. I believe you. Uh, and I feel like that was his acceptance of wear the ring we now also have our gandalf i thought it was so good like when they started calling him grand elf i was like that's a cute name i just think his realization of putting like grand elf as like one word i was like all right that's confirmation enough like that is the confirmation that we need and then of course we saw the staff and it's like you know it's got the twisty bits and it's like yep that's gandalf's staff gandalf's staff i know a lot of people were like oh what if he's sauron and honestly it would have been such a twist if he was like oh you're or, sorry not sauron saruman dude it's it's 9 30 a.m i haven't slept leave me alone um too many names sound similar uh people were like oh what if he's actually saruman or what if he's just a normal wizard and I kind of would have accepted anything, but they've given us way too many hints for it to be Gandalf. That it's like, it had to be him. And I'm really, really glad he did. And I'm so glad that we got to see Tom Bombadil and that we got to hear them singing together. Because the funny thing is, I've listened to that version of that song so many times and I didn't realize Daniel was singing in it, even though his name is listed. It didn't really click with me. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've listened to that song. It's probably going to be on my Spotify wrapped. But I don't know, it just didn't click with me that he was singing in that song um, with Rory. Like, I knew Rory was in it, but I didn't realize. I don't know, my brain just kind of skipped past it. And just hearing them sing it together in the show was really, really sweet. I loved that so much. Um, and again, the music, all, this, all the songs, all the music, the entire score has been beautiful. Um, so again, shout out to Bear for that because he is incredible. He is such a lovely, kind human being. Uh, he's such a lovely friend. And I think that his work is some of the best that have ever existed, honestly. Like, he's he's up there. He's up, up, up there. He puts his whole soul into these, into this music. And you can tell. You can tell he's passionate about this as well. Um, so it makes it really special. It really does. Like, this show wouldn't be the show without the music. All of the actors have been incredible. Like, I can't fault a single one of them. Like, Charlie's portrayal of Sauron is being insane. It's been so fucking crazy, man. And, like, Orphid has just blown me away as well. Um, all of them, every single actor, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit and name all of them, but, like, uh, it's just, it's been incredible. 
I'm very worried for Isildur now, though, because, you know, he's gone back. His dad's leaving and he's going to get put in prison and Elendil's not going to know. I was really hoping that they would have like a little reunion. But unfortunately, unfortunately not. Not yet. Kemen needs to die. I'm so I'm fucking sick of his character. He needs to be pushed into the water. He's been beside water too many times. And too often he could have been pushed in. I'm surprised he didn't brag about Valendil's death. Honestly, I thought that that was going to be a thing. But I feel like Isildur would have genuinely just fucking murdered him. And now Estrid has to live with her husband that she does not love. Which, again, I'm still not a fan of her because of what she's done. But like, you know, everyone can have redemption. But at the same time, I also do want Isildur to be happy. <laughs> Which, of course, right now he is not. Um, Muriel, I'm worried for Muriel. Farazhan can just suck it. And his little bitch boy at his side can also suck it. Uh, I do feel like Farazhan will get one of the rings and I feel like he will probably end up becoming one of the Nazgul or the Witch King. I have no idea. Possible. Now we have Durin. Durin is... Well, well, well we now have the name behind, you know, Durin's Bane. Like, I don't know if that went exactly the same way in the books and stuff, but Durin's Bane. Fucking a badass scene. That Balrog. That was incredible. That was so much fun to watch. Like, as sad as the scene was, like, for for Prince Durin, at least, it was sad for him. You know, the king, he kind of, you know, it was his own death, but also, you know, he might have caused it, but he did also find all that mithril, but he did also awaken the Balrog. Um, I mean, he kind of awakened it originally when he threw the leaf down, and then I think... Then, obviously, Sauron fully awakened it. And then it started to get angry when Durin was smashing at the walls and trying to steal his mithril. Um, but, yeah, it was a crazy scene. I need to rewatch that again because that was so cool to see. Again, very, very sad for Durin and Deesa, but I'm glad that them two are still together. I was really worried that something was going to separate them, whether she was going to die... Or whether, you know, he was going to put on a ring and break his promise to her and all that kind of stuff. Have we seen Durin's brother? D I don't know anything about Durin's brother. I They've never... Have they mentioned him? Who the hell is his brother? Interesting. I, I have no idea, but that would definitely be an interesting thing to see in the next season. I don't know why they would favor... The brother because we've we know nothing about him and everyone was like ready to follow durin to help the elves so i don't i i don't really know what's going on there um maybe he has his own little slimy group i don't know i know nothing about him i can't really say but the fact that he's now sending word to elrond say like you know you have our help and I don't know how Elrond is going to react to that. He's going to be like, well, it's too late now. And, you know, we see Elrond in the future movies where he's like, oh, you know, dwarves just like to hide away in their mountains and they're greedy and stuff like that. So I'm I'm very scared that they don't, like, rekindle or they don't, like, sort of come together again and talk and hug. And um, I, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm very worried about what Elrond, uh, how, how Elrond's going to react to that because, like, all he knows at the minute, or sorry, before he was informed that he was in mourning, all he knows at the minute is that Durin did not come. D Durin did not hold up to his promise. He kept all his men there. He locked the doors. That was what he knew. And then, obviously, someone comes along and says to Elrond, hey, by the way, he's in mourning. Didn't say any more than that. Like, that could mean anything. But a part of me thinks that Elrond will understand. He'll, he'll be upset. But I think he'll understand once he finds out about the Balrog <laughs> and what happened. But how long that'll be, I don't know. I was very happy with Elrond this season, though. I think his character development this season has been incredible. He is my favorite character. Like, he's kind of been my favorite from the start. So I... Elrond was never, like, a favorite in the movies for me. Like, I, I love Hugo. I think he's great. But... The character of Elrond never really stuck with me. I think because there was other characters in Lord of the Rings that stuck with me more. Elrond didn't really stick out as much. Um, but in this, I think his character has been written so well. Not saying he wasn't written well in Lord of the Rings, obviously. But like, 
compared to everything else, he is like a standout character for me. Him and Arendir are fully standout characters. And Elrond, as soon as I saw him from the beginning, he's just like this little cutie pie. He's got the cutest hair. He's got the cutest ears, cutest smile. Everything about him is so precious. And he for sure has been my favorite throughout. Like, yeah, I've, you know, I've had like moments where I'm like, oh my God, I love this character. I love this character. You know, I fell, fell in love with Halbrand and fell in love with Adar. You know, I, every character is likable in their own ways. Like obviously Sauron as a character is not liked but i love him so much because charlie plays him so well and also because they made him hot uh well they didn't make him hot charlie's just hot but they hired a hot actor um <laughs> i gave him a shoe a little bow in his hair but yeah elrond i'm honestly so happy for him and so happy with his development and i think robert is perfect perfect casting they're all perfect casting there's not under i couldn't go wrong with any of them uh Durin and Disa are strong favorites as well especially their relationship I also dude I you so you can tell what family tree Aragorn is from because the way Ellen Deal was speaking to Muriel beautiful blew me out of the water it was very 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 Aragorn and Arwen coded I the, They've written romance in this show so well. Like, they've done it incredibly. And, like, Durin and Disa, Ellen Deal and Muriel. Well, chef's kiss. But I'm sad that they're no longer together. And I'm worried about what's going to happen with that dynamic. And I, I, I just want Ellen Deal to be happy because he's a strong character as well. Um, But, yeah, I think I've talked enough. I don't know. I can't remember if there was any with anything else I really needed to touch on. I know I don't usually sort of go into deep discussions afterwards but man this needed to be talked about because that was something that was such a strong final episode and such a strong season and like i wouldn't just say that if i didn't believe it like i wasn't originally gonna upload reactions but when i saw how good the show was i was like no i have to upload i have to do it i have to record i have to post and i'm very excited to see if we're gonna get a season three announcement i know that they've kind of predicted they they want to do five seasons i think and i hope we don't have to wait another two years i hope that they've already like got a season three in the works or something they're like hey surprise it comes out next year because i don't want to wait another two years for this also holy shit i've just realized my necklace we got fucking narsil we got narsil oh my god we have like like and that was so out of the blue and so unexpected she's like oh yeah here you go there's narsil by the way bitch what bitch what that was that was crazy that was so cool i'm glad that i wore this because it was just like i switch between my necklaces like i'll switch between like my mandalorian necklace my uh evan star necklace i have other necklaces and i decided recently to wear this one so honestly it worked out well <laughs> but yeah i'm on such a hype like i need to go to bed it's 9 45 a.m i again i haven't slept but i'm gonna be on such a hype i'm gonna be on social media i'm gonna be like struggling to comprehend life and talk about this forever but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and coming on this journey with me uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more content i don't have a fucking clue what's gonna come next i don't really know what's coming out soon i don't have any plans at the minute but i'll get back to you with something i won't be taking like recommendations or anything so please don't recommend anything because when I get told to watch stuff, I probably won't watch it because it's just the way my brain works. So if I find something to react to, I know I still need to catch up with uh, Star Wars Resistance, which I do plan to, and then obviously Young Jedi Adventures. Um, but I'm going to just take maybe a couple of weeks, kind of work things out, decide what I want to do. Um, and I'll let you guys know. I'll update you on Twitter and on Discord and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. So peace.